Hi, Scorpio. So let's do your second one. Let's do your second one, my Scorps. Let's see. Slow down. <laughs> oh, let me love you. <laughs> Hi, Scorpio. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. What's What's this one going to be about, Spirit? I might use these on um, on Blue Tarot. I'm not certain yet, but I might. I might. I might. I might. Spirit, what do you have for my Scorpios? All right, here we go, my loves. Bottom of the deck. Oh, bottom of the deck is my sevens. Seven, 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 seven. Miracles. Miracles, miracles, miracles. Miracles and blessings, y'all. Miracles and blessings. All right, let's see. Nope, all you. You is going to be significant. Roll up your sleeves. Console and August. It feels like to me um, that Spirit is preparing you for something that's going to come in... Um, and uh, I put these down. That's going to come in August, obviously. And prepare yourself for it is because you're going to have to um, give something a good fight. You're going to have to give something a good fight. So roll up your sleeves, Scorpio. And I feel like spirit is leaving this in your hands. So you is going to be very significant here, okay? And I feel like, like I said, I feel like they're they're leaving this in your hands. This may have something to do with a cancer. So let's see here, spirit. Spirit, what's going on here? <clears throat> what are you trying to prepare my Scorpios for? Trust. Wow. Having faith. Believing in. Okay, so you have a divine masculine that's coming in. And they may have Aries, Aquarius, and Leo in their chart. So bottom of the deck is the shine card. This is the sun card. This speaks on something being very clear or giving clarity. Um, it speaks on um, this. It speaks on Leo's uh, energy too. And in the spotlight. So, ooh, ooh, Scorpio, they just said to me the hardest thing in the world that um, you're going to have to do, I don't know whose message this is for, is allow yourself to be loved. That's why you have to roll up your sleeves. Wow. I'm glad I saved this to do today. This is amazing. They're saying, allow yourself to be loved. Clarify the trust card spirit, please. For my beautiful ass Scorpios. I mean, we know we sexy, so we ain't got to say that all the time, right? So the devil, it says toxic habits, yup addictions, immortality, self-sabotage. See, this is why you got to roll up your sleeve and then poor decisions. So not trusting in this or believing in this prevents you from having this. So there's the devil. 
And then you have the three of wands. It says travel, moving abroad, forward planning, freedom, contentment, and life experiences. So allow yourself to be free, to travel, to move forward, especially with a, a plan, right? And it takes you right to the mother freaking dang on four of wands. Wow, you guys. It says reunion, happy family, celebration, home, self-esteem, family, com community, and unity. Look at this card. Bottom of the deck is the Page of Cups. So someone is trusting and believing in the opportunity that they could have with you. King of Swords. It could be an Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. This one, this person could be structured, disciplined, um, ethical. And then they have the death card here, which is your card, Scorpio. Wow. I just heard this person sees the power inside of you, the beauty inside of you, Scorpio. That's what I just heard. I just heard this person sees the beauty inside of Scorpio. And wow, look at this, y'all. And the Ace of Pentacles. And they want to invest. It all starts with you rolling up your sleeve and doing the work and trusting in the abilities of your guides. Because they're sending you a divine. Mm. They're sending you someone that is, I just heard, worthy of you. Spirit said to say worthy of you. They're going to say something about this person's past. So they're about to talk about this person's past. Okay. Similar. Similar is the word that they're using. But they're out. I'm hearing similar. Mm -hmm. So Queen of Cups. So they've loved before. Obviously, they've loved before and Page of Wands was excited about love, the chariot. So why the chariot then? I'm hearing separation, Knight of Wands, player energy, rebellious, risk taker. Ten of Cups. One was not enough. They dealt with someone that felt that um, justice. Yep. Yeah. They dealt with someone um, where one wasn't enough for them. See, Five of Pentacles. I knew it. And it says hardship, you know, homelessness, foreclosure, bankruptcy. It's just not, it's just not good, you know. Um, it felt like to me, clarify the chariot. Queen of Pentacles, Six of Wands, and the Three of Pentacles. It feels like to me that one was not enough to hang me and like somebody wanted or looked at things differently. That's what I'm getting. All right, so how is this person coming at Scorpio? Ooh, Ten of Wands. Flipped out. Hold on, y'all. I was just making sure that mess up. Was it important? King of Wands. <laughs> um, Page of Swords and the Fool. They're trusting this. Even though they went through maybe something similar that you went through. And then the Eight of Cups. They could have been abandoned by their love. The person that they fell in love with. Okay, so they wanted to talk a little bit about this person's um, history. Why is the control card here? Which is like the strength card of this deck, uh, Scorpio. So give me one second. Let me look into that. Ace of Cups, being courageous enough to 
I feel walk into love, but taking their time, <laughs> balance, restoration, replenish, patience, rejuvenation, calm, and, di and diligence. Yeah. And then the page is, oh my gosh, Scorpio, you know what this person's going to be like? Um, or so Spirit is saying both of you. It's like you're learning each other. Very direct to mm -hmm. Four of Pentacles, the Seven of Swords, and the Knight of Pentacles. Releasing. I'm hearing releasing. Not feeling the need to control any sort of trickery or scheming. Releasing, scheming. Or the idea of hiding identity. That's why this is here. The identity. So it feels good. At the bottom of the deck is the lover's card. Look at this card, y'all. Come on. They better come through. I saw this deck. I was like, I know the cost is a lot. But I was like, I got to get this freaking deck on deck. I have to get this deck. Wow. Wow. Is that not the Empress with the Emperor? Mm. And balance. Spread your wings. You got to be able to trust so that it could blossom. Roll up your sleeves, Scorpio. You got this. You got this in the bag. This is what they're sending your way come August, you guys. If you're already, if you feel like you're already in something, um, right now and it feels good to you great chance of August being one of those times where you feel it's gonna hit you the most where you where you gotta really fight and fight for this okay love you guys I'll be on with your third one message <laughs>